Since this video, I've been running Windows 8 Consumer Preview on my main machine here exclusively. I mean, that's, that's all I've been using at home at least. At work, I'm still running Windows 7. Even on the laptop that I occasionally use, which it's, it's pretty rare, um, I'm running Windows 8. So I'm trying to give it a fair shot. And uh, I've come to a few conclusions, or maybe a couple, and uh, or honest opinions. And uh, since I've been using it, I've noticed that I never go into the Metro interface unless unless I want to just hit start and then start typing something to bring it up, like I used to do in the past. Um, and I think a lot of you have said this already that you know it's dumb that people aren't going to like it, and uh, I tried to give it a fair shot. And my honest opinion is, as as far as I my personal preference, and um, I guess you can consider me a uh, I consider myself a power user. Um, I work in the industry, uh, at least the IT industry, and uh, I work on computers all day. And I have to be honest that this user interface right here, uh, the Metro, I I can completely do without. <laughs> um, I don't use any of the Metro apps whatsoever. When I do, it's on accident, and I hate it, and I try to get out of it as soon as possible. So, my personal opinion with Windows 8 and this Metro interface, I really hope that they do come out with an, a, a very easy option for people to opt out of it or to uh, switch it off. Yeah, you can go into the registry and do it, but as I, I help a lot of people on the side, and I know a lot of you do out there too, um, it's going to be kind of difficult, and some of the guys at work have... have have argued this point with me and um, I'm slowly starting to agree with them that trying to support people that are running this is it's gonna be pretty difficult I think um, but it works uh, I just don't care for it I don't I think it's useless um, for for me now I've also been running into some problems and it's probably has some, it probably has something to do with some of the software I've installed or something I don't know um, where the computer just freezes. It slowly, it doesn't freeze right all of a sudden, but it, I'm working and then I can notice that something's not, like I try to close out of a window and it's not closing out. And I, and I try to do something else. I can maybe do something else, maybe not. And I can, I can sense that, uh oh, it's, it's going to freeze on me. And I try to do like a control delete and I can do a control delete, but I, as soon as I try to bring up task manager, nothing happens. And I have to just hard restart it. So, or cold restart or whatever. Um, in the beginning, it didn't do that. I mean, it worked great for weeks on end. Didn't have to power cycle it, didn't have to shut it down, anything. Except for any Windows updates, but um, it's slowly been starting to do that and get worse. I have since turned off, they have an optimization option, and I think it just has to do with the uh, disk defrag. I turned that off because I read somewhere where that could cause problems, but only in a solid state drive, so I don't know. I turned it off and I haven't had problems since and it's been a day and a half, two days. I would say it's probably been doing it about every day. I do have a ton of stuff installed on here. I run Office 2010. Um, I have Adobe Flash Media Encoder. Um, I mean, I, got, I have a ton of stuff on here and um, I use a lot of it. So I'm a heavy, I consider myself a heavy user on this thing. Other than the freezing up, it's been working great. I know, other than the freezing up, it's kind of a, a, you know, it's kind of a big deal, you know, but other than that, it has been working great. I just personally do not find this interface useful, and if you've sat through this video, watched the whole thing, thank you. Uh, I know it's probably pretty boring, and you've probably seen a lot of other videos talking about the same thing. I just wanted to give you my opinion because um, I have I have been trying to use this exclusively, and I will continue to use it. I don't care if it freezes. I have everything backed up like I should, and I usually save everything as I'm working on it. So if it freezes, it freezes. If it dies, it dies, whatever. I'll, I'll fix it somehow. But that's my opinion. Um, now that it's been out for a couple months, what's your guys' opinion? 